Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video today, we're checking out top 10 showcases of power in One Piece. As you guys can see from my channel, I'll be doing a lot of reaction videos to videos about One Piece and I'm going to react to the series fairly soon. So this video is from Tube, who I've done a reaction to before and their videos are really good. So let's check it out today. Let's check out top 10 showcases of power in One Piece. Let's go. Okay, yeah, that was a crazy showcase of power. Just some flames coming and knocking out the guy. Damn. One Piece is an assembly line of super-powered characters. After some time, it's no longer possible to be awestruck every time a character puts on a show for us or gets a ridiculous power upgrade. However, every now and then there comes a moment when a demonstration of power by a character becomes much more than the standard spectacle. Sometimes, it displays the character's immense growth over a period of time. At other times, it's a visualization of their determination to achieve what they've set out to do. Many a times, it's a very effective warning to their rivals. Okay, that I have to say, that, that attack with the purple beam definitely look cool that looked awesome they're not to be taken lightly it's these backstories and emotions that give these power demonstrations gravity and staying power keeping them in our memories for a long time so today we're counting down the top 10 showcases of power in one piece we'll also see how each of these moments contributes to the specific story they're set in and to the development of the characters involved let's get started Okay, the little flame blue circle is pretty cool as well. I'm kind of excited for this. Let's go. At number 10, we have the Surgeon of Death himself, Trafalgar Law, cutting both Virgo and Punk Hazard into two neat halves. Okay, so I did see this in the Badass Moments video. I mean, that is such a clean slice that he did. This scene shows just how terrifying and mysterious Law's abilities are. For one, he's able to cut down Virgo while the latter's body is entirely clad in black armament haki. This type of haki, as you may already know, hardens the user's body, turning it into an indestructible armor that can't I easily didn't be know damaged. That. But Law not only splits the haki protected Virgo into two, he slices apart the entire island, dealing a body blow to his arch nemesis Doffy. And he does this all seemingly without using any armament haki himself. This scene perfectly captures the silent menace of Law's mysterious power Power, making the captain of the Heart Pirates an A-class threat for the rest of the series. Slice an island as well and the gear. Guy truly is powerful. Next up is another man of few words, but incredible power. Presenting former Marine Admiral Aokiji as he freezes the ocean with the power of his eyes. Is this the guy I saw in the beautiful world of One Piece video where he's like freezing the ocean and then he's cycling along in his bicycle? Is that the same dude or is that a different dude? But yeah, that, that, that's a cool power to have. Ice Age. The action takes place in the Foxy arc, which is more of a recreational arc and a bit of a diversion from the main story. But Aokiji's presence marks an important moment in Luffy and the gang's journey to notoriety. His confrontation of the Straw Hat shows that naval headquarters and the world government have started to take notice of the rabble-rousing rookies and the threat that they might one day present. It also shows that the Admiral is a man of great foresight, despite appearing to be lazy on the surface, laid back and non threatening. It doesn't matter that Aokiji uses his devil fruit powers for good rather than combat in this scene. Him defeating oh, the straw good. hats and his freezing of the sea oh. shows just how compelling yeah. his ice abilities are. The full might of which we see much later in his fight against Whitebeard in the Battle of Marineford. At number 8 we have Blackbeard and his disturbing power. Okay, you got Whitebeard and you got Blackbeard. I mean, Blackbeard is kind of like a very famous pirate, so that might well make sense. In his clash with former crewmate Ace, audiences are treated to two widely contrasting powers. One that's red hot and full of light, and another that's dark and pure evil. On Blackbeard's command, an entire village is engulfed by a mysterious black shadow until there's nothing left. It's as if the village fell into an abyss and disappeared, oh. leaving nothing in its wake. This clash is significant because it serves as the catalyst for the crucial marine for the war, but it's also a showcase of Blackbeard's terrifying abilities, which, as he admits himself, are the most evil amongst the Devil Fruit powers. And we agree that he's okay. So I have seen Blackbeard before in some other videos, but I've never seen that showcase of power before. They can use his abilities to literally make a whole village disappear. Yeah, this guy, 
he's someone you don't want to mess with. Scheme betrayal against his crew and committed murder to acquire this power shows how despicable he really oh, yeah. is. That he chooses yeah. to target a village of innocent people rather than his opponent in testimony shows how low he can stoop. When it comes to One Piece villains, and there are plenty of them, perhaps none are as hateful as Blackbeard. <laughs> Oh, Shanks. I remember him from another video as well. Moving on, we have Shanks, who makes an entrance every time he's on the screen. The red-haired pirate impressed us when he saved a young Luffy from a sea monster early in the series. He caught our eye again when he stepped in to decisively end the Battle of Marineford without raising a finger. But it's his appearance on Whitebeard's ships that makes the cut at number 7 because the scene perfectly captures his silent power and strong will. Marco's right to warn the weaker members of the Whitebeard pirates to get back because they can't handle Shanks. One Piece discussion forums are full of statements of how Shanks is one of the most, if not the most, proficient users of Haki and it's clear to see why. Shanks' conqueror's haki is so strong that even when he's trying to suppress it, it manages to knock out a good number of Whitebeard's crew and damage his ship. <laughs> wow. We've just had these tiny glimpses of the Yonko's power, and as the story progresses, we can't wait to see what he's truly capable of. The fact that he's suppressing his power and is still doing that much damage to the people around him is crazy. Kizaru's introduction. Yeah, that was a crazy kick. To catch up to our next contender. Coming in at number six is Kizaru treating the supernovas like a bunch of rowdy kids who need a lesson in good behavior. The Sabaudi arc is Kizaru's arc, considering how much trouble he causes the notorious gang of rookie pirates. Hell, he even manages to force the Straw Hats to take a two-year sabbatical, but it's his dismantling of x -Drake, Basil... Oh, so is that why they take the two-year sabbatical? Because I remember in another video they mentioned about... Like, there being a two-year break in the storyline, and I'm, like, a bit confused by that. So, I believe this is the explanation. So, yeah, Kizaru, he is super powerful with his kicks. Two-year break. Apu and Yuruj that opens our eyes to what a big threat the Marine Admiral really is. The four pirates are in no way weaklings, but Kizaru makes them look toothless and incompetent. If there's ever been a one-sided fight... And this is it. The super fast marine never gives even one of the four pirates a chance to land a hit on him. However, he lands one fatal blow after another without much effort at all. The half smile on his face makes it look like he's come to a party rather than to apprehend a gang of dangerous outlaws. But speaking of showcases of power, how about I help you showcase your power during shopping? This is where the sponsors of this video, Slick Deals, comes in. Slick Deals is the largest and most trusted deal sharing company out there. Thanks to their service, people have saved thousands of I mean, of guys, go use the, the link in their there. description if you guys want to use this. browser extension, you can get the best prices and discounts when you shop online. It allows you to compare sites with one another in your hunt to get the perfect deal. Say goodbye to searching for coupons or cashback points too. Slick Deals has that part down too and the extension openly applies the latest coupon codes. I was looking for a pair of wireless earbuds to watch anime on the go and I found these amazing earbuds at a huge discount. The best part about Slick Deals is that it also features an always active ever-growing community. With over 12 million users sharing their information you can easily get the best deals available in real time. Get the best prices for your gaming accessories, appliances and such at your fingertips by downloading the extension through this link in the description. Okay, guys, go use their link in the description. I always feel guilty if I'm reacting to someone's video and I'll skip the ad if I'm in it. I always feel so guilty, so I let it play. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen this in the other video about Luffy's showcase of power. This is a crazy moment. It's another one versus many fights at number five, only it's way, way bigger. Luffy unleashing his conqueror's haki on 100,000 fishmen and knocking out half of them is a spectacle that stood the test of time. And he does it without any preparation or effort. Despite the Straw Hat Captain's numerous power-ups since then, this haki moment stands out as the most memorable demonstration of definitely, Luffy's growth on his journey to become the Pirate King. It's also proof of how far he's come since the previously mentioned two years he was forced to be away from his crew. Since the Fishman Island incident, Luffy has used haki countless times against much more powerful opponents 
Pirates and has come out tops each time. But his demonstration of determination and power against the Fishman Pirates, which left even their captain Hody Jones speechless, remains unforgettable. Now that's how you even the odds for your team when the numbers... Yeah, taking out half of the whole enemy army instantly is just a crazy showcase of power. That Like, you, you would retreat after that. If you can take them out that easily, half of them... You might as well take your L and just move on. They're against you. And that's such a cool line. Oh, that is a crazy scene. Taking down Luffy in one shot. In one shot, okay. I need to see this. The action's heating up in the Wano arc, and we can't wait for the final showdown between these two adversaries. But from what we've seen so far, Kaido might just be the wall that Luffy fails to scale, despite the latter's obvious talent of turning the tide of any fight and putting off victory from the jaws of defeat. Kaido seems much too strong an opponent for the captain of the Straw Hats, so it looks like an unequal fight. Despite the beating he takes early on in their clash, the Yonko manages to shut Luffy down for good with just one shot of his thunder Bagua. And let's not forget that Kaido is drunk at this moment while Luffy's in his fourth gear form. Again, we can't help but wonder if Luffy has it in him at his current strength to take down this monster. We're guessing that Luffy will need all the help he can get, and perhaps even a monumental power-up if he's to defeat the commander of the Beast Pirates. <laughs> Claiming the third spot, oh, so that way is a broken titans. tooth. The meeting between Goldie Roger and Whitebeard, which comes during a flashback scene in the Wano arc, is the stuff of legend. And that's all the reason we need to place this power showcase this high on our list. That's not to say the action disappoints though, far from it. The Conqueror's Haki clash that unfolds when the two pirate swords clash is one for the books. The joy and excitement on the two men's faces speaks volumes of their fierce rivalry and mutual respect. Roger and Whitebeard might not be main characters in One Piece, but they've always been inspirational figures whose names have been revered and repeated from the very beginning of the series. After all, one is the pirate king and the inspiration for our main protagonist Luffy, while the other is the only pirate who's come close to matching the pirate king's power and charisma. When we finally see their epic encounter close to a thousand episodes into the series, it's claps and cheers all the way. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I know about King Roger, obviously, at the start of One Piece from what I've seen in some of the other videos I reacted to. He kind of gets executed and that's what sends everyone to search for the One Piece and the treasure. And White Piece, I've seen him sacrifice himself in another video. And yeah, he's like a massive guy. He's taking out all the enemy's army. like, And he kind of sacrifices himself, which definitely shows he's a legend to do that. Because he ain't giving up without a fight. Oh, and White Beard again. He has a lot of moments showing it off his power, it seems like. I'm very curious about what number one will be, though. Another white beard moment makes the cut at number two. This time, it's his okay, masterclass yeah. against the despicable Akainu in the Battle of Marineford. This fight's very different in tone and spirit from Whitebeard's previously mentioned encounter with Roger, which was a celebration of a legendary Damn, rival. He's, against he's the destroying movie, this he just man. killed Ace and is hell-bent on killing Luffy as well, Whitebeard is the embodiment of righteous anger. That ground-shattering moment when Whitebeard drills his fist into Akainu's face is easily the highlight of the fight. The magma using Admiral deserves every bit of the relentless punishment that Whitebeard hands out to him like a vengeful God. The elements of grief, sorrow, and fury make this an epic demonstration of power, befitting of the supreme power that is Whitebeard. That the Yonko is fighting for his family and honor despite being fatally wounded makes this one of the greatest clashes in One Piece. His ultimate. Okay, yeah, they definitely have some <laughs> historic beef that's probably going on for ages. This guy has definitely done something terrible to One Piece. I believe it mentions, I mean, to Whitebeard. It mentions Whitebeard's family. So, yeah, man, the way he's letting out his anger on him. He literally punched him down to the ground, his fist on his head. This is an amazing scene. Ultimate sacrifice at the end of the battle makes him an unforgettable character. Oh, and I love these speeches with the music. 
Odin. I don't know who Odin is in One Piece. I think I've seen him before. But I don't really know anything about him. And that brings us him. to number one, where Kozuki Oden's one hour ordeal in a vat full of boiling oil is unmatched as far as power demonstrations in anime go. A leading figure of the Wano arc and the catalyst for the events that are currently unfolding, Oden is a celebrated warrior and ruler of Wano whose wisecracking, lazy and brashly adventurous personality hides his incredible courage, heroism and loyalty. He's sentenced to the most painful of deaths by Kaido and oh. Orochi who've usurped his kingdom in his absence. But even as he's being boiled to death, Oden is such a powerful figure that he can save his retainers by placing them on a wooden plank and holding them aloft for the entire torturous hour. This incredible feat earns him the un dying devotion and love of his people, the respect of future generations, and even the open admiration of his enemy Kaido. A glorious death the likes that we've not seen, Odin's final moments are a beautiful haiku that speaks not of defeat and loss, but of unparalleled bravery and sacrifice. Okay, I think I've seen that smile somewhere. I thought I saw it. Someone gets shot in the head? Is that him or is that someone else? And that brings us to the end of the video. Which is your favourite showcase of power in One Piece? Did I miss any out? Make sure you leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you about it. Before you go, press the like button if you enjoyed watching the video. And if you love anime and One Piece, you can subscribe to Vinitube where you'll find many top 10. Okay, so that's quite a hard one. What was my favourite showcase of power throughout the video? I mean, oh, the Blackbeard one was pretty interesting. Like the way he makes that village disappear. And Luffy, the way he takes out half the army all at once, that's actually a really hard question. I honestly can't say. I mean, Odin's death was definitely very cool as well. The way he kind of, he wasn't just going to give up easily. He kind of wanted to go down as a legend. And that's what happened. So I don't really know. It's definitely a very interesting video. And seeing the showcase of power, there's some strong people in One Piece. We see Whitebeard, we see Blackbeard. Obviously, we know about Luffy being extremely powerful. We just see so many different ca characters and their powers look amazing. I've seen... Whitebeard unleashed it all on that guy. What was his name? I believe his name was Akainu. I think I said that wrong maybe. But him unleashing his power on that guy. That might be my favourite showcase of power. So if you guys want more reaction videos like this. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day everyone.